now. He has two prior convictions for driving drunk. And overnight, police say six, this 62-year-old man's third offense was deadly after slamming into a car, splitting that car in half, and killing the young man behind the wheel. And developing tonight, prosecutors fear there could be more similar scenes playing out as our state reopens following the coronavirus pandemic with more people on our roadways. Channel 2's Robert Arnold is live in southwest Houston with more on that story. Robert? On Friday, I was talking about how the number of DWI cases throughout our area had gone down significantly during the pandemic. And I remember the head of the DA's Vehicular Crimes Division, Sean Tier, telling me that trend's not going to stick around, especially once the state fully reopens. Last night, he was standing where I'm now standing, examining evidence from a fatal accident believed to have been caused by a drunk driver. And all of our concerns there are that we're going to see a spike in both DWIs and these types of crashes going forward. Sean Tier takes a dim view of what our roads will look like once Texas is fully reopened. As for this crash, Tier says 62-year-old Jose Talamante's Cadillac hit this Honda with such force, it ejected the driver and sent the car into a concrete pylon, splitting it in two. 29-year-old Abdumalik Magog was killed. Family members say he was a genuinely loving person with a good heart. That's what sticks out on this one, is just the coldness of the defendant and his ability to leave without any, any care for anyone around him. Tier says Talamantes ran away from the accident but was caught a few hours later. The family at a house listed for Talamantes declined to comment. Tier says blood alcohol tests show Talamantes was over the legal limit. So he is being charged, in addition to the failure to stop or render aid that we have already charged him with, he's being charged with felony murder. The murder charge comes from Talamantes having two prior DWI convictions on his record. As Channel 2 Investigates has shown you, out of the tens of thousands of DWI cases filed in our area every year, about 22% involve repeat offenders. Tier says in Talamantes' case, he'll be asking for him to be held without bond. This is someone who has proven over and over and over again that he's going to put everyone out there in danger. Court records show Talamantes has gone by several different names over the years and has a criminal record dating back to 1979. He is scheduled to go before a magistrate in the morning. Reporting live from Southwest Houston, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And Robert, just a day before this.